And welcome back to Sunday Agenda, a first ever for the United States. The White House unveiling the first national strategy to combat anti-Semitism. The 60-page document detailing a strategy to raise awareness and understanding for Jewish Americans and counter hate crimes. In it, the White House wrote that this plan, quote, represents the most ambitious and comprehensive U.S. government-led effort to fight anti-Semitism in American history. It also brings together, uh, regardless of our backgrounds and beliefs, to stand united against hate, racism, bigotry, and violence that have long haunted our, our nation. And of course, President Trump was also a very staunch supporter of the Jewish people. But of course, this release came with some controversy. The Zionist Organization of America releasing their own statement calling out alarming and harmful aspects of President Biden's plan. In a press release, they wrote in part, quote, the Biden national strategy to combat anti-Semitism is a lopsided document that can undermine efforts to combat most resources of anti-Semitism in the United States and throughout the world, end quote. We got to talk about this here to weigh in the national president of the Zionist Organization of America, Morton Klein. Welcome, sir. Thank you for being with us today. Good to be with you. Thank you. Morton, what, what's your issue with the president's plan? <laughs> Look, the fact that the council, <clears throat> the radical anti-Israel council on American Islamic relations and the radical J Street that oppose Israel's, uh, uh, care, oppose Israel's existence, the fact that they praise and welcome this tells you everything you need to know. This plan endangers Jews. It makes it much more difficult to fight uh, the anti-Semitic boycotting of Israel, the BDS programs on campuses and elsewhere. It makes it much more difficult to condemn as Jew haters, members of Congress like uh, Ilan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, Betty McCollum. Why? Because there is one great definition of what anti-Semitism is. It's called the IRA definition. President Biden and his plan mentioned it only once then he says, we welcome and appreciate the nexus definition and the JDA definition. That definition says, if you oppose Israel's right to exist, it's not anti-Semitism. If you uh, condemn Israel for alleged uh, human rights abuses, but ignore serious uh, human rights abuses in China, Russia, Iran, and the Palestinian Authority, that's not really anti-Semitism. It also doesn't mention Islamic anti-Semitism, which ADL themselves say 50% of all Muslims are anti-Semitic. It doesn't mention black anti-Semitism, like Farrakhan and, and others. So uh, this is a watered-down version, which will make it legitimate for people to say, we oppose Israel's right to exist. Israel is a human rights-abusing uh, country, uh, uh, and, and, and we will not be able to say, this is anti-Semitic, we must uh, fight this. This plan is totally outrageous. And I'm really disappointed in Deborah Lipstadt who is the anti-Semitism czar, who has signed on to this and allowed this to go forward. And frankly, the Jewish organizations have ignored uh, the uh, problems with this uh, 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 plan and this definition uh, uh, by hoping and praying that Biden only looks at the IRA definition. But in fact, he welcomes as valuable tools these awful definitions that allow anti-Semitism and not permitted to call it anti-Semitism. But, of course, uh, Biden has to mention white supremacists. He doesn't mention the, the, the is Muslims. He doesn't mention it. But, oh, it's white supremacists that are against the Jews. We have a, a, a minute left. What do you think? It's almost like a dog whistle. It, it's th that, that he wasn't really genuine when he put this, this, li this uh, letter forward. It is outrageous that he only mentions white supremacy as anti-Semitic, which, of course, it is and it is a problem. But Islamic anti-Semitism and radical black nationalism anti-Semitism is a more serious problem. He ignores those because it is not politically correct to say anything uh, against Muslims or radical blacks. Uh, so uh, he's really uh, made it a, a, a really disappointing effort to try and help the Jews. This endangers Jews, makes it harder for us to call anti-Semites wow. anti-Semites. It's a disgrace. He should retract the uh, the secondary definitions that he says we must use and welcome and appreciate them as valuable tools. He never should have said that. Martin Klein, thank you so much for your insight and for educating the American people on this very important topic. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Coming up,